Robin here from Matt Man and Robin, and I am coming to you today with another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. Um, these are boxes that are sent in for the 2021 year. Collection week is coming up in just a few days, and so I hope that you are either gathering up all of your boxes and getting ready to take them to the drop-off locations or that you are out there busy collecting all of your gifts that you are going to create um, your box this week. So uh, thank you for doing either of those things and I'm so glad that you found my channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing for a boy ages uh, 10 to 14 and it is actually a space theme. So I have on my um, Star Wars shirt. It says, look like a princess, fight like a Jedi. Um, even though there's no Star Wars items in this box, it's just uh, more Buzz Lightyear themed, actually. But I just kind of wanted to get into the spirit and um, get all dressed up for this box. So this, the actual box is a little bit bigger than I like to send. Um, but the box itself kind of has an interesting journey and a story. This box actually came from Germany. Um, Matt's brother, his biological brother, lives in Germany. Um, he is getting his doctorate there at a university. And they sent us a Christmas gift last year in this box. So it came all the way from Germany back to us here in uh, the States. And then I'm going to turn it in to Samaritan's Purse for Operation Christmas Child. And it will go visit some other country around the world. Um, I am in Texas and so a lot of our boxes just kind of stay in the Americas and go south. Whether that's still in North America, in Mexico, or in South America, um, in countries like Nicaragua and Chile and Uganda, right? No, mm, that's embarrassing. I think Uganda's in Africa. <laughs> anyway, countries in South America, Brazil, there you go. That's South America. But anyway, I did take this box and I decorated it a little bit. I bought a big sticker pack from Dollar Tree and tried to cover up a little bit of the logos with some aliens and spaceships. Um, this side has a little rocket ship heading to Earth. Over there is a little squiggly-eyed alien. Back here are the little green men alien, you know, with their flag saying hello. And this side is like a comet and a planet. So. I did decorate this box just a little bit to try and cover up the logo just a smidge. Uh, because I did decorate it, I think I'm going to do my um, box hack where I take this um, shelf liner paper and cut it into strips and wrap the box in it with this. That way the, um, the tape at the distribution center will not harm the box and the stickers and the little boy will still be able to take off that um, the tape and have the box to use um, as he wishes. So, uh, like I said, it's a little bigger than I like to use, but I don't mind sending maybe one or two a year that are a little bit bigger depending on what goes in them. So, let's get into this box. Um, right on top when I open the box, it is a, a hinge lid. Um, there is his list and I can tell that everything that is on the list is checked off so it should all be in here. I have not opened this box in quite a while so we will see together. Um, as you can see, you will be able to tell why I used a bigger box right away. So there is my normal bandana and then on top of it up here is the little extra space, which is housing a soccer ball. So this is my first soccer box I've ever done, and I want to do more in the future, but I'm gonna have to get better at um, 
putting less items in, <laughs> in the soccer boxes because I have this long list of things I like to include and when you have a soccer ball taking up a large portion of the box, you have to pick and choose what of these very important items goes in the box. So I will do better next year. I couldn't help myself this year. So um, on the t I'm gonna do the soccer ball portion of the box first and then put it back in there to try to help keep the shape of everything. This is my soccer ball. It is a standard um, size five soccer ball. It's Baden Sports, which I believe is a brand name. And um, I don't think anything, no, nothing is inside of here. It's just as squished as I could get it. It was a full size ball uh, full of air when I got it. And I used a needle to deflate it and roll it all up. So um, I love the colors because this is Buzz Lightyear themed. And so I thought these, this was a great, Buzz Lightyear soccer ball. Um, also on this little section here, I snuck in his chapstick, which is a blue chap ice, a Sharpie so he can mark his name on his soccer ball. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there so he knows what it's for. And then over here is a hacky sack. Um, I kind of splurged on this item. Normally I wouldn't spend this much on a hacky sack, but it's a noticeable soccer brand and it looks like a soccer ball. So I got this for $3 at Walmart in the sports section, like where they keep the, um, the bicycles right on the edge of the toy section. And then the last thing on this side of the box is this pump. Um, I like this pump, it's short. I have seen shorter pumps, and in the future, we'll look for the shorter pumps to include in the box so they can fit, you know, this way, short ways in the box instead of having to fit long ways in the box. But um, it does come with its own bag, and it has four extra needles, and this, this is the, like, extender that you put on here so that you can pump the ball up. These, um, I found this link to these pumps on Blessings in a Shoebox. So these are the ones that they recommend. Um, and that is all that was in the little section, this section on top, up here, right in here. I'm gonna put those back to try to maintain the shape. Give me just one second here. This, this rubber band popped off, so we'll, we'll put it back on so the ball stays nice and tight. You didn't know you were gonna get to watch me pack a box. <laughs> it says unboxing, right, Robin? His chapstick, his hacky sack, his pump, and then the soccer ball goes right on top there. It's still kind of hard to shove in there. So now we get into the portion of the box with the bandana, which is how I traditionally pack a box. Um, I love this bandana. It is from Hobby Lobby. It was 99 cents and I utilized it in my previous Buzz Lightyear box um, unboxing earlier this year. So <clears throat> when we open this up, I put it in on the diagonal. Um, oh, there's a lot of the great stuff in here. This is a good box. Um, it's been quite a while since I opened it. Right on top here is a Toy Story comic book. I love these comic books. Here are the different options that they have at Dollar Tree right now um, for these comic books. So be on the lookout because it's a great way, since they are graphic novels, it's a great way to learn conversational English. It's not written in uh, paragraph educational um, English, I guess, whatever you want to say, it's written in conversational English. So it's a great way to study and learn any language is to read their graphic uh, novels or comic books, whatever you want to call them. There is also this great book here. I got this at Daiso as well. Um, a fun thing about Japan is that traditionally their books open opposite of ours. So this 
looks like the back of the binder, but it isn't. It's really, it's really the front, and it's just blank paper. Um, and that is because I also included this. Oh, I thought there was a how to draw book in here. Bummer, there's not. Oh well, um, I did include this adult coloring book. Um, but it is, it's got animals, and so I thought that this little boy could enjoy coloring all of these animals. Like, look, there's a turtle. Um, a lot of times these more mature coloring books are very floral and geared towards ladies. But this one, I think um, a boy can appreciate these detailed coloring pages. Here is his... Um, composition notebook. It says born to be awesome. I got these on clearance after back to school. I think typically these are 98 cents and I think I got it for 60 cents. So the regular the regular composition notebooks that are double-sided plastic, I think they are they're always 60 cents. So it was kind of nice to get the upgrade of a little bit of pizzazz for the same price. Right on top here, oh, he has a bunch of masks. Um, I packed this earlier in the year when um, COVID was still a big issue in our area. It has since um, died down a little bit because I live in Texas and we no longer have mandates or regulations so no one is wearing masks and masks are now harder to find. But he has four in here. Um, two of them are disposable. So this is what I originally packed in my boxes because um, this is all I could find. And then I found some really good reusable ones. He has this space one that says need more space and a plain black one. Um, and both of these have metal in the top here so he can mold it to his face. Um, these actually also have metal in them. Um, so that is, those are his masks. And then here is his pencil bag. I got this at Dollar Tree earlier this year. I really love that it is green, so it still kind of goes with Buzz Lightyear, but it's definitely soccer because this is my soccer box. Let's see what uh, pencils he has in, well, all kinds of stuff he has in here. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Oh, this is super fun, I love. <laughs> I love unboxing boxes that I haven't seen in a while and have forgotten what I put in them. Um, the first thing that I see in here are these, okay, come on, novelty pencils. And they are from Daiso. Um, I did sharpen them. And they are Toy Story themed Buzz Lightyear pencils. I also included these three uh, pencil toppers because Japanese pencils do not come with erasers. So anyway, um, there are his three specialty pencils and um, oh, he gets several other specialty pencils. No number two pencils, but they are all sharpened. Um, he has two galactic pencils and two space themed pencils. And this, I guess, qualifies as his yellow uh, Oh, yellow number two pencil. It's over there. I'll get it later and put it back in the box. He also has this really fun Buzz Lightyear click pen. It says Buzz all over it and has some uh, spacey images as well. Oh, it has some, uh, some residue on it from the pencils. He also has two highlighters, a blue and a yellow. I got these at Daiso early this year. He has a multi-click pen from Daiso. So this was 50 cents a piece because they come in a pack of three for $1.50. Um, I did recently go to Daiso and um, on their like pencils aisle where they typically have pens and pencils and rulers and erasers, um, all of their pin items were not in the um, Japanese packaging and they were in American packaging and they had different quantities and different pins than I'm used to seeing. And I don't know if that's just, um, I've seen Daiso starting to do that with other like toiletry items. 
selling American items just in the Daiso um, because we're American and we're looking for American items. But I really hope that they are going to continue selling these pins because I love them. I love the quality of the Japanese items. Um, and I'm hoping that they're just missing right now because of all the, the issues with international shipping. And so Daiso's just using a local manufacturer to provide them some sort of writing utensils while we're waiting on all of the amazing writing utensils to get to us from Japan. That's my hope and prayer because I love these pins from Daiso. Um, and the last three things in here, he has a giant eraser that is Buzz Lightyear themed. And on this side, it's a little bit different image with Jesse and Rex. There's more residue there. Um, I might, because they are um, sharpened pencils, I have this tape over here and I will tape up their tips before I put them back in the box. It's, um, it is, what do you call this kind of tape? It's the kind you can use on walls for painting. Painter's tape, I guess, yeah, yep, that's what that is. Okay, and then he has an enclosed pencil sharpener. There's the image and there's the two pencil sharpener places. And the last thing in here is this ruler and I love it. It is only in centimeters, but I feel like centimeters are the more universal, universal measuring system. So um, hopefully it's more useful to a little boy um, in some other country than it would be to a little boy here. And it does have Toy Story items all over it. So that was his pencil bag. And I'll just show you in here too. Um, because the pencils are sharpened, it's it, it's marking up the bag. So I am going to um, cover up the sharpened pencils with this tape before I put them back in the bag. Then the next thing in here is very interesting. So reminder, this is a box for a boy age 10 to 14, but I saw this stuffy and my heart just told me it was for this box and it, it didn't make a lot of sense, um, but I listened and I've put it in here anyway. So this is the stuffy that is for this box and I got this at um, Tuesday morning on clearance for like $2, I think. It is a great, quality stuffed animal. He has a little tail, which has um, some ribbons on it. He is technically a bear, but he has a little lion's mane of those really soft ribbons. His fur is very soft and his um, paws, both his hand paws and his feet paws, because I don't know what else they're called, have um, this different material on them to you know signify his paws his nose is um, hard but it is felt he has two beaded eyes and these cute little ears but he is so soft and he is a CF handmade by CF um, it's a it's a very well known um, bear stuffed animal manufacturer in Europe um, and they're like little collector's items but I got him on clearance at Tuesday morning and so he's going in this box this is like the best made stuffed animal I've ever held so anyway um, maybe this 10 to 14 year old needs this or maybe he has a sibling that um, God wants to give this to. I don't know why. I don't know why this stuffed animal is supposed to go in this box, but I know that he is, and so I'm listening. Anyway, I love this little guy. Um, I also have included this pack of foam um, stickers. They There are um, stars and rockets and planets and little aliens it's a space themed um, foam sticker pack he also is receiving this set of crayons here and a set of marbles and I made this this 
pack by getting these um, bags at Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance. And then I got this stencil at Dollar Tree and painted this on there with fabric paint. Inside are um, a bunch of, a set of marbles and the marbles came from Hobby Lobby for $1.35. I also included um, these, this embroidery floss so he can make a circle and play his marbles. I do need to get, um, it's in another room so I can't just reach over there and get it, the instructions for how to play marbles. I need to add those to this bag. And I print those off on um, blessings in a shoebox and I fold them down and they fit in this little area right back here. Um, I have included, because he is 10 to 14, this calculator. Um, and I will, it is a solar calculator, but there's also a battery in here. So I'm going to tape down this off button so that it doesn't accidentally get pushed through shipping and run down the, in, the battery that comes with it. There is a t-shirt. It's just a plain blue t-shirt. There's nothing fancy about it, except it is really, really soft. I did get this at Dollar Tree. Um, and they're usually, the brand is usually um, like Gildan or Fruit of a Loom, but this is definitely a nicer brand. Let me see what it is. I feel bad on doing it because it's folded and rolled up so nicely, but I just need to see what brand this is. Okay, yeah, it's um, Anvil, which I'm sure if you have recently uh, been a part of any team or any workplace or church or group whatever that has printed t-shirts to give you or that you purchase um, it's those that really soft it's just like the shirt I'm wearing right now it's the really soft fabric it's not like a regular t-shirt so I did get this at Dollar Tree um, but I am including it for this little boy because it is so soft So there, I, I still got it all nice and rolled up. Here is his water bottle. He does have a nice big water bottle because he is a soccer player. So we need to keep him hydrated and I will open this last. Down in the bottom, he has two figurines here. He has a Buzz and a Woody since they're buddies. Um, he has some novelty erasers here there's a, an american football a a basketball and a soccer ball or as the rest of the world likes to call it a football and these came in a set of three just like this at daiso because they have a bunch of specialty erasers so i got these to go with my uh, soccer box he also has a neon green cross it does have a hole in it in case he wants to make a necklace. And, oh, I forgot I put this. Uh, this little dinosaur is green. He's just a generic dinosaur from um, a pack at Dollar Tree, but I included him because, he, to me, he looks like Rex, you know, from Toy Story. So, these are his three little figurines. I know that he's an older boy, but still, if my husband was doing this unboxing, he'd be playing with these guys right now and they'd be talking to each other. So boys of all ages love toys. Um, I also have, this is a spoon. This is what the spoons from Daiso look like. Um, I did I did buy a couple of these. So there is another box that I have yet to unbox that includes this. I do like it. I'm glad it's in this box. I won't buy them again because the angle is so um, large that it takes up this whole space, as opposed to the ones from Ikea, which are um, just as good quality, but they are a fraction of the price and they um, don't take up quite as much room. But the thing I love most about this spoon, it looks kind of weird, right? But that's because it is a lunch spoon and it comes with a case to keep it closed so see it's it's an ergonomically shaped spoon um, and it's not it doesn't lie flat but anyway 
I thought these were really neat that they come with their own little covers. So that's his utensil in there. Um, I also have the soccer ball is now in the way, so I'm just removing it. I also have down here in the bottom this set of colored pencils because I gave him an adult coloring book, so he needs colored pencils to color in that. Here is a brush for him. It is a it has a compact mirror, and then this side is um, bristles. They pop out. And this kind of mirror is allowed because it is enclosed and protected. Um, you're not allowed to put in open-faced mirrors, to my knowledge. Uh, double check that because um, I don't. I don't want you to feel like I'm telling you what you can and can't pack. I just. I just know that these are definitely allowed because they are protected. Here is his soap. It's inside here and inside a uh, soap saver but I also put it inside this really cute Toy Story bag. And I think I'm gonna leave it unzipped just a little bit so the soap can breathe if it needs to. So it's, it's just unzipped a little bit. Here is his washcloth. It is Buzz Lightyear themed. Did y'all see recently that they're doing a, it's not a live action Buzz Lightyear, but it is definitely a different style animation, and it's kind of supposed to be Buzz Lightyear's origin story. Like, we know Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story where he is Andy's toy, and this, the movie that is coming out, I believe, is the movie, like maybe the movie that Andy saw. Like, the real story behind Buzz Lightyear, the character, as opposed to Buzz Lightyear, the toy. So, anyway, I just, FYI, I'm looking forward to that. I love Disney stuff. Here is his hump flashlight, which I haven't shown you how this works in a while. So um, this is the lock latch right there and you just unlatch that, which allows the lever to pump out, pop out, and then you give it a few pumps, creating this friction here and creating your own energy. Then you can put the lock back on so it holds the lever in place. And then here, this one, is how you actually turn the light on and off. So anyway, these are really cool. I love them. I get them at Daiso. Sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them yet this year. Then everyone knows it's my Daiso fan. I love these fans. I like that they had this blue Buzz Lightyear one. Um, this is the item that inspired my original Buzz Lightyear box and that just kind of um, also I loved all the Buzz Lightyear theming so much in that box that I added it to this soccer theme. So it's, you know, a soccer Buzz Lightyear box. So I really like this. This is a packable backpack. Um, it rolls up really little but it pops open to be a full-sized backpack. It does have regular straps. They're not padded though. Um, but I really enjoy it. It holds full-sized um, notebooks and it is really good quality, way better than the stuff at Dollar Tree. I did spend $4 on these at um, Daiso is where I got them. And the last thing in the box, oh, not the last thing. Here are some scissors for him because they were not in his um, pencil bag. So here are his green full-size scissors. And the last thing down in the bottom here are his stickers. So I have included an extra set. These are the stickers, let me see, I can use this. These stickers came from Daiso, they're puffy stickers. I love them. I don't like to spend $1.50 on one sheet of stickers, but these were so cute that I had to include them um, with all of the other Toy Story items. As far as this sticker sheet goes, these are from Dollar Tree, and I do like to include the entire packet for this kiddo to play with. Um, it says there are 150 stickers in here. The first sheet is sparkle stickers. The next sheet are blue stickers. The next sheet is green stickers. And the last sheet are red stickers. 
So those are the Toy Story stickers to go in his box. And the very last thing in this giant oversized soccer Buzz Lightyear space theme box is his card. Um, I grabbed it from over there because I hadn't included it yet, so I will when I pack it back. It says, to a special boy, and then the remainder of the stickers that I did not use on decorating the box, I decorated this card. And this is what the front of the card looks like. It also has two more stickers on it. And then we just wrote him a personalized letter. At the bottom of the letter, um, I wrote, God loves you, Jesus loves you, we love you, you are special. So um, I'm leaving that little message for all of the boys this year. And the girls' message is very similar, except instead of saying you are special, it says you are beautiful. So um, that is, oh, I'm, I'm not done yet. I almost forgot, you guys. This giant water bottle over here. It's the size of my head. Uh, oh, there goes Luke. Uh, this is the water bottle. It, it does have a open mouth. Um, and it is, wow, packed. It does have a big opening, so I can get a lot of stuff in it. But look at this. It's packed to the brim. Um, here is his lanyard. It is a rainbow lanyard. So pretty. That's such a pretty rainbow. I'm going to keep that nice and curled up just like that. It's still a very, very packed water bottle. He has another figurine over here. If I can get it out. Come on, little tiger. It is a tiger. Tiger figurine. And he has some googly eyes and a toothbrush. I was wondering where the toothbrush is with a green cap on it. Here is his whistle to go with his lanyard. Oh, here's another figurine. He has a gorilla. Isn't that fun? I like the gorilla. Here are his cars. Oh, they're great. They are definitely Buzz Lightyear themed cars. Look at this. I love it. Love these cars. So fun. I got these at Dollar Tree. He also has, um, I'm not going to be able to pull this all out for you. So I will just show you. Right in there is another figurine. It's a tiger. This is a jump rope. If you can tell, there's the blue handle. Here is the rope. Here is the second handle. Down here, packed in very tightly, which I do no longer do, um, is a pair of socks. They do have soccer balls on them on a green background. I got them at Dollar Tree. I thought that was so, oops, I bumped the camera. I thought that was so great for this soccer theme box. Right here, as you can tell, is his um, nail clippers and nail file. And, oh, right there. Those are um, safety pins that I also included for his box. Over here, he has two clothespins to help him dry his socks, I guess, and two things of embroidery floss in case he needs some string or needs to mend, um, mend his socks. Anyway, that is the water bottle. Um, I no longer pack them like this because things are too hard to get out. So lessons learned from a shoebox packer. They are able to come out, it just takes a little bit of time, and this is already a pretty long video. So I will save the actual unboxing of this for the little boy who receives it. Um, that is my Buzz Lightyear soccer theme box, and I am so glad that you stuck with me till the very end. I hope you have a great day, and if no one has told you, love you lots. Bye-bye.